Tropical Cyclone Kenneth has made landfall near Pangane in Mozambique uh, with winds of 130 miles per hour. This is a small storm, but it still carries with it a stage 9 on the cyclone destruction potential scale, and we'll get into why that is in a moment. Uh, even though the winds are a massive factor as the storm is moving ashore, the winds are not exactly expected to move too far inland, and here is why the storm is expected to pretty much stall out over the next three or four days. And it's really not expected to move anywhere, and that's, of course, is going to make the intensity plummet. The biggest concern right now is extreme rainfall over the Cabo Delgado region of Mozambique and extreme southern Tanzania. Uh, with this rainfall projection here, uh, the yellows is expected anywhere between 250 and 500 millimeters of rain. The orange between 500 millimeters and 1,000 millimeters. That includes the large city of Pemba. And the reds is where the rainfall is expected to exceed 1,000 millimeters of rain with peak rainfall potentially being greater than 1,250 millimeters in that region. Uh, the population in that region, obviously Pemba is the largest city in that region, but you can see that there are some larger municipalities pretty much right where the storm made landfall, as well as a little bit inland. And that's where mainly much of the flooding is going to occur over this uh, brown region right here as the storm is, again, expected to stall for the next three to four days uh, over the same region. And it's going to keep on dumping the rainfall as it continues to stall. So right now, the citizens of Cabo Delgado need to keep an eye for, out for flash flooding. The winds are going to diminish rather quickly with this storm as it continues to move inland. Uh, but rain will continue to fall over the region for the next three to four days, dropping over a meter of rain in some places, which will obviously cause extensive flash flooding over regions that were very similarly impacted to the precursor of Cyclone Idai. Uh, so hopefully it shouldn't get too far inland before it loops back out, but obviously the grounds are saturated here already, and this storm is only going to bring more rainfall to an already saturated region. So the biggest threat is flash flooding within this region and people should be on the lookout obviously for any kind of flash flooding or mudslides that may occur follow us on facebook and twitter force 13 all in text or join us on discord to join in the tropical weather discussion for more information stay tuned for further updates from the channel